guys welcome back okay so today i just did this quick little eye look using this new makeup well it's not new it's new to me <laughs> but this is the makeup addiction cosmetics meadow palette and i was really really curious about this palette because the shades in here it's kind of like a different color story if you know what i mean it's like there's some beautiful shades, beautiful colors, but it's like it could kind of throw you off because it has this bright light pink shimmer and then it has this like beautiful like warm bricky brown, orangey brown, then you got the shimmery green, this like duochrome kind of gray. It's just some really interesting shades in this palette. So it was very intriguing to me. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I sat down with this palette, but I actually like what it created. Okay. So yeah, I created this look using this palette today really quick. Um, so I want to keep this video short and sweet. I really like this palette. I like how it performed. There's some gorgeous shades, this green. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty on my lid. I love it with this blue and then having this kind of like what is it terracotta orange bricky brown <laughs> in my crease I'm feeling it so yeah I used this palette today had a lot of fun so let me go ahead and do some swatches and then we can jump into this eye look So these are the swatches from this palette, you guys. I mean, as you can see, those shimmers, oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. The whole palette is extremely pigmented. This blue is kind of like a drier formula, so it doesn't swatch the best. And you do kind of need to build it up when you use it, but it's definitely a nice, nicely pigmented shadow. I didn't have any issues with patchiness or having a hard time blending it out or blending it with this beautiful kind of like terracotta brown shade. So yeah, I just really want you guys to check out these shimmers. Oh my gosh, like this one here in the pan, it looks like, you know, a gray, just like a boring gray. But do you see how that swatches? Oh my gosh, in this gold kind of copper shade. Oh, they're all beautiful. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. <laughs> So, anywho, this is how the palette swatches. Now, I do see on the website that this palette is still available. When I purchased it, she was having like this huge blowout sale where everything was like extremely discounted. Um, it is coming from overseas, I believe. So, there is a conversion rate. But if you can catch this on sale or get like the 15% off if you sign up for email, something like that. I definitely think this palette is worth it. You guys, it is so pretty. It's only eight shadows. The pans are very large though, larger than your average pan. As you can see, they are magnetic, so you can pop them out if you wanna mix and match them in some other palettes. But I'm really happy I picked this up. It's like the, the color story is intimidating, but because I love color so much, I had a lot of fun with it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this eye look. Okay, you guys. So today I'm using this Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Meadow Eyeshadow Palette. Eight absolutely beautiful shadows in here. Very large pans. So first I'm going to go ahead and prep my lids with my P. Louise Base in Rumor 04. And I'm going to start out with this beautiful brown shade. It's like an orange kind of terracotta brown shade. It's called Dusk. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and kind of focusing that in my crease and just gently blending it up to the upper portion of my lid. Next, I'm going into the beautiful dark blue shade in here. It's called Crushed Blueberry. And I'm using a more pointed crease brush just to kind of focus that in my crease area. And as you can see, I'm just gently tapping it and blending it out into that first brown shade. 
and I'm taking this in my inner and outer corners. I wanted to create a bit of a halo look, but I really wasn't sure what I was doing today, you guys. So now I'm going back into that first shade, Dusk, and I'm just adding a bit of that on the edge of that blue, just making sure you can really see it nice and pigmented. And also going back and forth with that blue and just blending those two shadows together. Now I'm cleaning up the outer edge of my eyes just to make sure it's nice and neat before I move on to the lid. Now for my lid, I decided to go ahead and use this green shade, which is called Poison Ivy. I am spraying my brush just a bit to kind of make sure I don't have any fallout. But you guys, honestly, you don't need to spray for this shimmer shadow because it's very beautiful. It's nice and as you can see, it's not like super foiled, but it's just a really, really pretty shimmer. And when placing that down on my lid, as you can see, I didn't even use any type of cut crease canvas or concealer. I just went in with the shadow and it popped extremely nicely. Now I'm going back in with some of that dark blue shade and I'm just tapping that on the inner and outer corners of my eyes, just kind of helping to, you know, create that semi um, look of a spotlight. And I decided to go in with black liner today. Initially, <laughs> you'll see I did add um, a green liner as well but I started out with a black liner because I wanted something extremely bold for this eye look I really like how it came out so I decided to go with a bold black liner but I said you know what let me go ahead and add an extra pop and so I went in with one of my NYX eyeliners and this is the green one and it's called Vivid Envy these eyeliners are so easy to use and they really just add an extra dimension of color if you feel like something is missing. So I just feel like it gave a little extra pizzazz. So now I'm going to go ahead and complete my complexion and we can move on with the eyes. So for my lower lash line, I'm taking my black pencil liner. This is the Rimmel one, I believe, and I'm just lining my lower lash line with that. Initially, I didn't even want to go in with any shadow on my lower lash line, but I decided to bring that dark blue and just kind of keep it real tight, close to that uh, lash line. Didn't want it to come down too far, but I did want to go ahead and add that depth to my lower lash or lower lash line, I should say. So now for a bit of inner corner pop, I'm going in with the shade Sandstone. Very, very pretty light shimmer shade. It's kind of like a champagne color. Very, very pretty. So I just sprayed my brush a bit and tapped that on the inner corner. Not too much. As you can see, it added a very nice highlight to that inner corner of my eyes. For mascara, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and this is what i have in my shop my stash so just trying to finish this one up for my lips today i'm going in with a recent purchase this is my lip liner and gloss that i got from my tammy times revolution collab very very nice i love this lip liner and lip gloss it's definitely staying in my everyday stash for gloss very very pretty so this is the final look you guys using this metal palette I must say I'm very very pleased with it I love the way it came out I love that pop of green along with that green liner that I added it just came out very very extra <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you had a good time and I will see you on my next video toodles